Hey guys, Basic Sorgonomics, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Sorgatron.com is the bloggy blog where you can go and sign up and I'm going to write something every week and let you know what's going on around here and some cool stuff. And uh, and you can sign up for that newsletter and uh, and find out about our webinar and lunch and learn we have coming up here. I want to teach you guys how to get into podcasting. We're going to do a very one on one intro to podcasting, a uh, very kind of boiled down thing here at the beginning of the month and then the middle of the month for the webinar. Uh, so looking forward to that. Please go sign up there. Um, and, uh, and and we're going to try to keep that growing, keep that conversation going. Uh, so today I want to talk about, uh, I'm kind of thinking about things with uh, uh, some of the meetings I had this week and, 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 and some clients and everything. And how much money do you need to spend on social media? Now, I think I talked to a lot of you people out there um, about how... Uh, Anybody can do this. It doesn't take much money, and uh, and and I think that's true. I really do think that's true. Or even even clients that I work for, they have enough money to hire me, but they don't have like scores and scores of money to dump into Facebook ads, for instance. Um, it gets it gets pricey. It gets pricey when I hear things like somebody was just telling me yesterday is like, "Well, we spent twenty bucks and we got six new followers." That scaled is I don't I don't know I I. I that scale blows my mind, and I know we're, we're kind of working on a different level when we talk about advertising, and I'm trying to figure out the advertising side when it comes to podcasts, for instance. you know, Is that a, a model that works for us? Do the numbers that we have, uh, are they attractive to people, and, and, and how do those compete when, when the same companies are looking for let, at thousands of potential people uh, when we're talking about radio and television ad spots? And I think when we look at... Uh, when you look at social media and, and, and our goals, and it really depends what you're doing. If you're like, I want to get a mass amount of people into this, like right away. Or or I want to get the people that are going to find me and, and that'll be cool and we'll kind of organically build something. So so that's what you have to kind of split things off to. Uh, do I want something organic or do I want to just have a bunch of people? I've, I've read articles where they're saying you will not get more than a few hundred people on your podcast uh, unless you go sink some money into it and and get some ads and get the word out there. Now, I don't think I don't think that's entirely true. I think there are certainly ways to do it. It's certainly easier if you have money. I think a lot of these things are going to be easier if you have money. Uh, uh, you know, putting together an online publication is going to be easier to reach out if you have the money to sink into Instagram ads, Facebook ads, Twitter ads to just get that exposure. You can. You can do a lot organically, and, and and yes, you can you can reach out and get the right person, uh, get somebody who's already big on a platform, and get their attention and have them spread the word as well. And I think that's worth doing, and I think uh, that's what I've been doing. Uh, that's that's really what you know. As much as I've 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 grown here has been around that. Maybe I could use a little bit of uh, of. Uh, step up if I had I, I I would love to have the budget uh, to to just dump some stuff in the Facebook ads get a bunch of then I'm worried about is the message clear when people inevitably see my stuff rather than okay how do I make my cl- my message uh, how do I get my message in more places how do I get people to share the message to help organically reach that and i think that's the more interesting way to do things of course um and 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 it's nice to see that you know obviously you're working for a uh you're working for a, an ad agency and stuff they got a budget they're working with big clients they can get that out there and uh and, and it's just another wing of their of their of their advertising budget basically but then you know again these smaller clients you know there's one i'm working with and we're trying to figure out how to get the steam going how do we get people to look over here and uh and it's been hard to kind of reach that out in that certain industry uh, again probably without you know, putting that, putting a couple bucks in there, but then I'm heartened by by uh, people, uh, the Steel City uh, or the Black and Gold Girls, I believe. Uh, they were on a panel several months ago at Point Park College on social media, and uh, the, the the question of like ads and Facebook ads and everything came up. And they're a group. They said we've never paid for ads, we've never paid for social media ads. We're completely organic, and we have this following. And uh, but again, they're a group that's not entirely. I don't think selling something. They're just a community. They don't have to grow 
exponentially to meet some other kind of goal. They're just looking for people of, of a like mind and, and very advantageous that they're surrounding something like the Pittsburgh Steelers, which is a holy crap rabid fan base. Not so I guess you can call it it is a niche of, of the fans of this team, but it's a fairly large niche, right? You know, much like uh, uh, our work with pro wrestling. Pro wrestling is a fairly large thing. Um, I mean, I've, I think I've commented on here before uh, when uh, relaunching into IndiaWrestling.us, it was really nice because all I had to do, we have like, last I knew we have like 70 followers on the Twitter, but our reach is through the roof. Because what we're doing is we're we're putting these matches up and we're tagging the, all these wrestlers that already have incredible fan bases. Uh, I think I've mentioned our, our, our friend Dylan Bostic, who's just messaging me this morning. I got to get him his match. Um, he has some 180,000 something insane because he's he's he has tapped into the Justin Bieber fan base because of his gimmick. And he has actually like met the family of Justin Bieber and all the fans have latched onto that. And now he's sharing his matches that he's doing with us and that's just getting so much traffic into the site and now it's my job to turn that traffic into click-throughs and having something to sell and, and again something like that site could definitely benefit we have a product we have something i can track click through an roi that makes sense versus the other other things like i do a lot of work with uh that's basically education we don't care how many people look at this we care that people look at it but we don't need millions of people to look at this thing it's not the requirement you know and, and we don't have that this video means people we have more clients or we have more people that bought this thing same with the podcast we don't have a direct sale on the podcast yet eventually when we have advertising i guess that's going to change uh my, our, our direct sale is is you guys l watch the shows and we'd love to get more of those numbers in general it'd be nice but we don't really have a set uh uh you know we we just want people to find it it's just something we've been doing and now of course those goals are shifting and, and that'd be nice um and and even you know the, the the turnaround we have for that are the people that support those shows on patreon those are, you know, that that that's the feedback. And really, you know, that's just having to try to cover its own expenses, which actually is working pretty okay right now with 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 how Awesome Cast and Wrestling Mayhem show are going. Uh, maybe I should have a Patreon on here as well. Would you would you pay for a Patreon? Is this is this content worth paying for for you guys? Uh, or is this something where I should just, you know, use to plug other things that I'm doing, which is kind of the idea. Uh, which I, even this didn't even have a, a set goal to begin with. It was just a, a show where I decided I wanted to talk into a microphone every day just by myself and you guys. Hello, audience, and hello, Periscopers. Uh, and, you know, but it's not something that seems worthwhile that, that I can put a bunch of money behind and throw out to, to Facebook, but maybe it's turning into something like that. Um, so... I say I, I don't think it's required. It's definitely not required. But here's what you're going to get: if you don't have the money to stick into these ads, and when I talk, you don't have the money. It's like oh, I have an extra twenty bucks. Or I should throw it in here. I don't think that's worthwhile. Having I've thrown five bucks at Facebook ads. I've thrown five bucks at Twitter ads. Uh, Twitter ads. I've, I've thrown like ten bucks at 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 Google ads. I had a budget of like a hundred bucks, and it got away from me. I ended up spending two hundred dollars on Google ads one time. You know, you got to watch that stuff. But but even that, you know, a, a good friend was was talking to me about Google ads and 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 I, I confer with another one with Facebook. Uh, the problem is you're not going to just uh, select a thing, throw 10 bucks at it and get a bunch of new followers necessarily. It is something you need to run consistently and learn what's working. It's it's a process, much like it's a process in a long game for you to sit there in social media and converse with everybody and grow that audience. You need to sit there and look at the numbers, look at what's working, what keywords work, what uh, what ads work, what wording, what images are people responding to, and and that are that are making your goals happen. And again, just saying, well, I threw food, but I, I I threw five bucks to boost this post. Because Facebook's going to tell you to boost well, your your post is doing ninety better than ninety percent of your other posts. Why don't you boost it so more people can look at it? Which is kind of nice because you see something that supposedly some people are responding to. But when you have ten followers, that ninety percent doesn't really mean that much. But anyways, I digress. 
let me what you know what you think. And I know, uh, you know, some some businesses are just predicated on 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 the advertising model uh, through these systems, and of course, they're all changing and all all making it harder for us sometimes to be the organic growers uh, that 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 we have been for so many years. Um, I, I still feel like uh, Facebook is holding my fans hostage when we're talking about our pages, but that's the business model. And you decide as a business, as an individual, as a nonprofit, do you play that game or do you just be happy with having a place on this platform and people are coming to you? And can you feed it through other platforms that you already own? So, and, uh, and I think, I, I think we're going to follow this up with talking about owning the platform on the next episode of basic sorgonomics to end out the week. Let me know what you think. Sorgatron.com at Sorgatron on the Twitter. And again, please sign up for a newsletter, find out about the events coming up, uh, free and otherwise. And, uh, in, in, in uh, PodCamp Pittsburgh stuff, uh, we should be having some event announcements, uh, very soon as well. Probably going to get a meetup or something going on here in November. Uh, of course, a bunch of videos over there. Uh, somebody told me, is like, ah, yeah, I found out about a uh, I can't Pittsburgh on that Sunday. I was like, well, you didn't miss it because all the videos are online, sir. Go check it out. Uh, and then you can definitely do that. All the uh, Google Hangouts and, and, and YouTube live videos are up there at podcamppittsburgh.com as well as my recent discussion for Evening with PodCamp on po- International Podcast Day with Buzzy Torek of the Epicast Network. They're doing fantastic, fantastic stuff. And I'm trying to learn a bit or two from the way that they're doing things and hopefully vice versa. Uh, looks like we could teach each other a good bit. Uh, but uh, go check everything out. Thanks a lot for listening. Like it. Hey, guys, if you like these videos, share it. Tell people why you like it. This is the organic thing that hopefully I don't have to pay for ads for because uh, you, the audience, can be my 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 advocates. If you like this kind of discussion, don't keep it to yourself, guys. Spread it to the world. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at Sorgatron Media.